Good morning, my fellow servants of the kingdom of God. Greetings of peace and gratitude in the most precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. First of all, we are so thankful to our God for His faithfulness and continuing grace in sustaining the ministry of Philippine Missionary Institute, PMI, in this difficult and challenging moment of our lives and ministries, confronting this pandemic. Indeed, the Lord is good, as He keeps on providing for the whole family of PMI and protecting our faculty and staff, including our students. The Lord deserves our praises and thanksgiving. As we face this challenging moment of our lives and ministries, His living word found in Psalms 121 verses 1 to 8 reminds us of who God is and how he protects his people who trust in him. I shared this passage in one of our, and it, it is one of our reflections in our PMI faculty and staff prayer time every Tuesday afternoon. Yes, the world is greatly affected by this pandemic. The political, religious, business and economy, and the society itself suddenly changes its course and directions. The world seems to be at loss and in darkness. The psalmist clearly reminds us the importance of looking up to the Lord as we face difficulties and danger in this fallen world. The world seems to be a very dangerous place to live in. People are so fearful and distressed. Fear and uncertainties are destroying the hopes and the lives of many people throughout the world. People are looking for security and safety for their lives and families. This kind of situation probably happened in the life of the psalmist and he found that safety and security in God. He says, I look up my eyes to the mountains from where shall my hope come? My help comes from the Lord who made the heaven and the earth. Mountains could mean loftiness and greatness, a tower of strength, and God is there in his lofty place taking care of his people. The Lord can protect his people against all kinds of danger and evil, and those who trust in him will never be dismayed, for he is powerful. He is the one who made the heavens and the earth. So the people of God, to the people of God, the situation is not asking us to be fearful, but to be faithful and hopeful in the Lord. The time is not asking us. The time is asking us to trust Him and seek that safety and security in Him. Again, the psalmist says, And he who keeps Israel, his people, we are his people, will neither slumber nor sleep, and those who trust in him will be protected from evil and dismay. The Lord is asking us to look up to him in this difficult moment. If businessmen and business establishments are experiencing troubles and difficulties, the question of some is how much more Bible colleges who greatly depend so much from donors. Our stand is not. We should not let our hope leave us. Our hope and security is in the Lord. Our lives and ministries are in God's powerful and caring hands. May we be reminded of this too, that the word of the Lord is flawless and we could rely on His promises. The word of the Lord as claimed by the psalmist in Psalms 119 verse 105. The word of the Lord is a lamp to our feet and a light unto our path in this dark moment of our lives. And may we never forget also the claim of David in Psalms 46 verse 1.
He says, God is our refuge and strength. A very pleasant help in trouble. Yes, this pandemic greatly affected the whole world and almost everything we do. But it should lead us closer to Him, fully dependent on Him and to exercise humility before Him. That indeed, without God, life in this world is hopeless. But praise Him, we are His people to His Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior, provider, protector, as He shepherds us in the green pasture of His kingdom. Glory to His name. Let us trust the Lord. Let us put our hope in Him, for He alone can protect and provide and keep us from this difficult moment. Glory to His name. Thank you so much to the whole congregation of Union Church of Manila for being the channel of blessing in funding the theological and ministerial training of the future workers and leaders of God's eternal kingdom. Thank you so much and may the Lord bless us all. Thank you.